We're the Super Guillory Brothers, are we? What is going sort on? Sort of. We're gonna talk about E3 today. Another E3 has come and gone. I think we've done. Uh, we've talked about it since for the last three. The last three E3s we've talked about it. E3 2016 has come and gone, and I wanted to take a moment to uh, invite Brian back onto the show and uh, kind of relive our glory days of talking about E3. Oh, yeah. uh, so Kevin couldn't make it. He's Kevin's very busy. important things to do. He has very important international business. Just to you know go through it. Uh, what was one of the games? What were some of the games that you were that kind of stood out for you? Probably the first thing that I was like, okay, wow, I would like to to play that uh, was, but it was the same thing as last year too. Like it, it kind of impressed me last year was a uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, it looks a lot of, like a lot of fun, but it doesn't look like Ghost Recon. But that's okay. Like it's it's only Ghost Recon in name, but it looks. I mean, those are my types of games where you can get on with, like, buddies and, like, run around and, like, kind of open world stuff. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. It doesn't look anything like Ghost Recon has ever, but it looks cool. It looks like a lot of fun. And really, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. I just want fun. Uh, one of the games that kind of got a WTF moment for me, and it wasn't a long WTF moment as I started to kind of comprehend what it was, was God of War. The game itself looks okay. It, lo it looks yeah. entertaining. I like the God of War franchise. I've en I enjoyed playing the first three, so I was excited about a new one, but it was kind of confused because in the third one, the game literally ends with you destroying the entire world. Like, there's nothing left. It's supposed to be like Norse, so maybe like that was Ragnarok and now it's after... I don't know. What I think, I it's, what I think it's supposed to be, and I mean, this makes sense of this, fine. It was just, it was very confusing when I initially saw it of like, what is this? How is this working? Is I think it's basically going to be a lot like uh, Legend of Zelda where it's Link, but it's not Link. No, it's I'm a pretty sure it's probably still Kratos. I, no, I think it's Kratos, but uh -huh. it's not the past three games. You Kratos. think it's like another reincarnation? Yes, or just another... Okay. Not even a reincarnation, like a just another representation. I don't know. It's Kratos. probably just Kratos. Maybe. I'm looking forward to the game. I think it looks cool. I like Norse mythology. Yeah. I liked how it looked. Zelda. Yeah. Uh, Zelda. I have not enjoyed a Zelda game since Wind Waker. What is it? Heart of the Wild or Breath Wild, of the Wild? Bird, whatever. Looks cool. Like it looks like fun. It looks like I might want to actually buy a Zelda game. What they showed was still. It, it was enough for me to go, I may put money into that franchise again. But yeah, no, it looks great. It yeah. looks beautiful. I like I the don't... survival aspect of it. I like how you gotta like gather resources. Yeah. I like I like how they were saying it's like they basically just the game starts and just go. Like there's no like there's really very little hand holding there, which yeah. is kinda cool. Another game that it really got my attention. I thought it looked really good. I'm very I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh was Days Gone. Really? Yeah, it looked kind of like Last of Us meets it uh, looks like, Sons of Anarchy. It looks like I'm tired of those types of games. Well, I'm I'm not. I like zombie games. I mean, it, I'm, it I'm looks old. like a more serious Dead Rising, which I enjoy I'm old Dead Rising. It looks like The Last of Us point five. Well, I'm, I'm not over it. I like it. I thought yeah. it looked interesting. I liked the kind of... Uh, the wave of zombies and yeah. how they work, and I thought that was really that, cool. No, I mean, that was cool, but that's not... See, and I, I've heard a lot of people like, oh my god, the amount of zombies, but that's not... Each one of those zombies were not individually rendered. That was that was a show. That was, you know, scripted. Yeah, but I don't really It care. looked cool. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks like it have like, an interesting story. But the game it. itself, it's... Eh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I thought it... You know, it grabbed my attention. You know, I really liked The Last of Us. I liked I Dead too. Rising, and that's what it looks like. It looks like Last of Us, Dead Rising, and Sons of Anarchy, three things that I really enjoy. Yeah. So uh, it was it was a you know a new title that has no, uh, I guess preconceptions going in. It was just something very new that I was like, okay, I'm I'm very inter I'm very yeah. interested in this. This is odd because everybody knows you know I'm, I'm Xbox, mm -hmm. I'm Team Xbox, uh, Horizon. Zero Dawn. I'm really that was the, that the robot dinosaur. Yeah, the robot right? creature. Yeah. With the, yeah, I'm really digging that one. I mean, it impressed me last year. It impressed me again this year. Uh, that's one of the two reasons I still own a PlayStation. Yeah, is it looks, it looks very interesting. Yeah, I, I I dig it. It looks cool. 
Um, I am totally on board with the new Spider-Man game. Just from what I've seen, it looks really interesting. Hey, it looks fine. I mean, it looks like a Spider-Man yeah. game. But, God, that white spider, it just kills me. I thought it, it was fine. Kills it looks me. different, and that's what I loved about yeah, it. I mean, that's what I liked it about... It stupid. That's what I liked about the new Spider-Man outfit in Civil War. It looks a little bit different I, than what we've seen. It's the white. The white's killing me. I thought it looked fine, but I thought the game overall... I mean, it looks really good. It could suck when it actually comes out, but from what I've seen, it looks really good, and I'm actually excited just to have a finally have a good Marvel video game to kind of we've had a bunch of good Marvel video games and we've, we've had Lego Marvel no uh, you're talking about this generation yeah like this generation okay like this well, coming up like I'm looking at something to yeah, kind of is like movie sit science. yeah I'm looking for something to like to sit next to like the Arkham Knight series yeah. so hopefully Spider-Man will be a really I mean, it's never good soft, contender wasn't it? no it wasn't never it was soft. Insomniac. Insomniac. never soft who made the old ones yeah that's right um so that, that was something I was that was something I was excited Excited about, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope it doesn't actually suck when it comes out. It'll probably be okay. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, so overall, what are your thoughts on uh, E3 2016? Uh, kind of, I don't want to say disappointing, but kind of very low key this year. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you know, everybody like laid out some big announcements, but it wasn't anything that like really kind of surprised or shocked me. I think, especially like with Microsoft, so much was leaked ahead of time. Yeah. It's like, you know, when they announced the One S and the Scorpio, it's like, well, we knew. You know, like Sony, it's like their big thing, like, oh look, God of War. It's like, well, duh. I mean, yeah, God of War is obviously going to happen, you know, but just nothing really kind of, nothing blew me away this year. Yeah, I, that's kind of very similar to how I feel about it. Actually, how I felt about all of the E3s that I've watched in the past, either... I mean, they showed a lot of things that I was pretty excited about, like all the new stuff for Fallout, uh, both Fallout Shelter and Fallout 4. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, that looks really cool. I'm looking forward to building my yeah. own vault. Um, Mass Effect is something that I should have been very excited about because it's like yeah, my EA's, favorite franchise. EA's uh, thing was terrible. And as excited as it was for, pretty much all of the games that I watched for E3, including Mass Effect, was either, that looks cool, show me more, let's see how it develops, right. and it's about damn time. Right. Like, I've been waiting for actual footage for Mass Effect for the last three years now. Yeah, and you got maybe, um, what, five seconds? Yeah. Of um, we did find out that the name, the new name, instead of Shepard, is going to be Ryder, which yeah. I was like, that's appropriate. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. But I'm also glad I got a release date, which is in March, which is when the last one came out, so it's not really a big surprise. So it's usually just been... Either it piques my interest and I'm yeah. looking forward to see it going forward, or yeah. it's about damn time, like it's already been leaked, or we've been expecting it for so long. I just, I had a hard time getting really, really excited. There was nothing that I was like, oh, I need to post about this right away. Right. You know, even Final Fantasy VII Remake wasn't like that. I mean, as excited as I am for it, it was like, I've known What about that for Final decade. Fantasy XV VR? Whatever. I that looks so good. Now, speaking of Ubisoft. They, to me, had the game slash reveal slash information of the show, mm -hmm. which was the release date for Fractured Butthole. <laughs> that was game of the show for me. Is right? that still... But, I didn't yeah. watch a lot of the gameplay of it. Is that still turn-based, or is it it's like... It's turn-based, but now there's, like, a grid, like... Okay. There's, like, positioning. So it's I not mean, just, it's, like, straight action. No, I mean, it's still, it's still a stupid-ass RPG, okay. but that, that to me, was like, oh, December 6th, that makes me excited. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah. I mean, it, game of the show, hands down. I mean, it's South Park, so, yeah, yeah. it was funny. Exactly. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. That is literally the only thing I was like, I can't wait for that. <laughs> Everything else, I'm like, okay, cool. That, I'm like, yes, I yeah. want that now. I still haven't beaten uh, Stick oh, of Truth. God, what is wrong with you? Oh, so many things. I've been playing Overwatch and Battleborn and the Legion beta. Mm. You son of a bitch. It's not my It's not like I specifically said, Dear Blizzard, do not give Trey a beta invite. You see, I have Thank a hard you. time believing you didn't do that. Yeah. So let us know what you thought of the E3 2016. Let me know in the comments and follow me on all the internets. If you liked this video, you can check me out on Patreon and uh, support more of my content. Also check me out on templeofgeek.com to see more of my videos and all of my reviews on the Marvel TV shows. Uh, subscribe to my channel so we can geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. That's a mouthful. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.